We recently got our hands on Assassin's Creed Origins, which looks to tell us the origin story of our favourite not-so-secret brotherhood. However, instead of getting on with the main missions and dealing with the Ancients, a creepy band of bad guys who are totally ready for Egypt's first masquerade ball, we got a bit, well, distracted. <laughs> Here then are all the fun, distracting things that we did instead of founding the Order of Assassins. Assassin's Creed Origins makes radical changes to Assassin's Creed combat. You'll have to think on your feet more, rather than just time encounters for finishing moves. We'll wear him down. I will just go away. So the first thing we wanted to try were Bayek's new moves. With the over-the-shoulder camera and a control scheme that feels more Breath of the Wild or Dark Souls than traditional Assassin's Creed, you'll have to keep your wits about you. You'll have plenty of weapons to choose from, with our favourites being a long-range bow and arrow to take down foes from afar, and long spears for long-distance poking and swiping. <laughs> Although here we're picking fights with random baddies instead of pursuing Bayek's ultimate objectives, in truth pretty much all the enemies are bad guys so rotten they each justify the founding of an Assassin's Brotherhood. <laughs> That's why we led with this one, so Ezio wouldn't get mad at us for getting sidetracked and shirking our historical duty to form the Ancient Order of Assassins. See Ezio, we are fighting evil. The pigeons are in a ruckus. What has upset them? Another way we'll be fighting evil in Assassin's Creed Origins is by finding out what vile deeds the bad guys have been up to. To this end, we used Investigation Mode a lot, as it points towards items of interest as we searched for the Nile Delta's latest missing person. An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? Sadly, it's usually not good news you'll be taking back to that person's loved ones, but there is something more fun and less corpsey that your investigation skills can help with. It's not just suspicious clues that your investigation mode will uncover. One other thing it will ping when you investigate an area is hidden treasure. There is a pharaoh's worth of riches scattered around the open world, and you can track it down in the lost, forgotten areas where it's just waiting to be snapped up by treasure hunting Bayek. Do be careful, as these areas can be protected by guards or animals hiding in the dark. So don't forget your torch. Take it easy, snakes! What do you even want with golden treasure? Precious loot can also be found deep underwater, so it's a good job Bayek has a decent set of lungs on him and is a much better swimmer than Altair, who needed water wings more than treasure troves. Greetings, friend. For Assassin's Creed Origins, treasure means, among other things, money and bits and bobs you can use for crafting, all of which you need for upgrading Bayek's equipment. Yes, with items you can find, or procure by other means, you can improve Bayek's equipment and clothing at the blacksmith. At the same time, Bayek's skills can be upgraded as he levels up. We spent a while perusing the available skill tree branches, and the ones that caught our eye were the shield charge, a slow-mo arrow jump shot, and the chance to tame animals like in the Far Cry series. Seriously, we could have done with a tame lion when fighting off all those guys in Venice. While cruising the dunes of the Egyptian desert, we stumbled across these curious stones. After dealing with the local hyenas, 
we discovered that you could interact with this tiny version of Stonehenge. If you do, you'll discover it is actually a copy of a constellation and it's your job to help Bayek line up the stones with the stars, to learn about it and bank some delicious XP. You'll also be rewarded with some memories of what we assume to be Bayek and his father, learning about the history of the Medjai. I'll practice hard, Papa. I want to be strong and hunt like you do. You are already better with your weapons than many men. You will make a fine Magi, son. There's nothing in the stars telling us if Bayek will have a good day next Tuesday, but it's a pretty safe bet, seeing as most of his days involve sliding down pyramids. Whee! Yeah, Mercury was definitely not in retrograde that day. Long-term viewers of Outside Extra will know we're pretty excited by the introduction of Bayek's majestic eagle Senu. She's a cool alternative to the assassin's eagle vision. Maybe she's even a sign that we'll get a retconned explanation as to how future assassins acquired their built-in eagle powers. Senu is the ancient world's answer to a military-grade drone, marking targets and resources from on high. But she additionally is capable of just giving us some incredible bird's eye views of Egypt. What's more, Senu can also give us excellent views of Bayek looking pretty damn majestic himself. Bayek's mount, which we made a camel because of course we did, has the ability to run automagically along roads to a waypoint at the press of a button. You can unleash Senu at the same time to either scout ahead or, like us, mainly use her to get some damn cool action shots. Oh yeah! It's not just Senu and our self-driving camel mount Humphrey that we befriended and gallivanted around the game world with. Subscribers to our sister channel Outside Xbox will already know Assassin's Creed Origins lets you pet cats and has them follow you around. <gasps> Cats follow you! He, he, it's very oh good! Oh my Hello. god! Hello! Hello! Oh, he's your friend for life. Hi! Hi! Yes. Hey, buddy! I mean, guys, we tried <laughs> leaving the cat alone, but the cat made we'll its decision. We we'll go. go do a quest. I mean, we would. <laughs> but look at this guy. However, we're just very excited about this, so I'm gonna double up because cats are the best and honestly very distracting. As I've previously described in detail on this channel, Assassin's Creed 3 added the option to pet cats via a button prompt, but this was cruelly taken away from us after Black Flag. This left me screaming with sadness over the cute little London kitties out of my reach in Syndicate. But I petted a real kitty in actual London yesterday! At first, the lack of button prompt in Origins made me fear the worst, but then we found out that crouching next to a seated kitty would cause Bayek to automatically pat its fluffy little noggin. Rest assured, I'll be wasting hours on this, so apologies in advance to the developers of Assassin's Creed Origins for missing out all the hard work you did on the rest of the actual game. Yeah. The Nile Delta and Giza regions of Bayek's country are beset by angry, violent giant crocs and hippos, as you may have witnessed in our Let's Play on Outside Xbox. Get him, get him. Yeah, Alan, in the butt. In the hippo butt. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Boom. De oh! oh. <laughs> Skidded to a halt at your feet. <laughs> However, some quests specifically ask you to go and deal with these not-so-fantastic beasts, and it might be worth the risk of getting your kneecaps chewed off on account of the tons of resources you can get as a reward. If you fancy a less man-eating target, there are all sorts of other creatures for you to hunt down in this lush area of ancient Egypt, such as this adorable antelope. 
Sorry, pal. Pro tip for the hunters, though, while you're taking down the local wildlife, you must be vigilant, as there are still predators around to ruin your perfectly fun day of assassinating antelopes. They aren't pushovers, so beware, even if one problem predator might occasionally save you from a second one. Thanks, lion! Oh, oh no, it, it see me. Scarpa! It's not just Bayek who is on the world's least safe safari. As you wander around the world, you may see your enemies learning for themselves just how dicey some Egyptian critters can be. So you'd think that, when those baddies were on water, they'd try to minimise the danger and focus on the big crocs swimming around them. Fortunately for Bayek though, these guys are reckless pet owners and have never played a Far Cry game, clearly, since they've made the mistake of storing lions on boats in cages with easily breakable doors. The fools! Set these boat beasts free and your enemies will work out very quickly that it was you. Wait a minute. I kill you. But they'd be lying if they said they saw it coming. <laughs> Coming back around to Bayek's responsibility to found the future order of the assassins, what if we said that we didn't stop a powerful syndicate from achieving world domination because we were too busy learning about mummification? I know, that sounds bad, but it's learning! In a free update coming to all Assassin's Creed Origins owners in 2018, a new mode called Discovery Tour will allow players to get a walking educational tour of ancient Egypt. Sadly, we didn't get our hands on it just yet, but Discovery Mode will turn the detailed, expansive game world of Origins into an immersive museum as accurate as the British Museum, but without the gift shop or colonial thieving. Discovery Tour is violence free, so with the fear of being smushed to pieces by guards removed, you'll be able to wander around the world of Origins at your own pace, as you learn all about ancient Egyptian traditions with information approved by Egyptologists. The history nerd in me hasn't been this excited since I found that Roman coin hoard in my back garden. Before I realised it was just pogs. <laughs> So there are the things that distracted us during our time in ancient Egypt. Looks like Bayek has a vast world to explore and a heap of things to do in it. What do you see yourself doing instead of getting on with creating the Assassin's Brotherhood? Let us know in the comments, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and keep an eye out for more origin stuff from us in future. Bye!